Builders and homeowners have many choices today when choosing wood products for a raised floor home. For the floor system, dimension lumber 2x8s through 2x12s are most commonly used. This material is readily available in a range of sizes and grades. Where moisture and termites are concerns, pressure-treated material is the right choice for a floor system. Dimension lumber is also used to make trusses, commonly used for floor joists. Glued laminated timbers, or glue lamb, are made of lumber pieces glued together and are often used for girders or beams in a floor system. Wood eye joists are another option for supporting the floor. A well-designed raised floor using properly sized materials and the right connections provides support for floor loads, exterior walls, and the roof. Building coats require all wood framing members in contact with concrete or masonry to be pressure treated material. When it comes to connections, proper design, specification and installation assures the long term integrity of any structure. The required size and spacing of fasteners and connectors depends upon the wind, seismic or other forces acting on the building. Completing the floor system is the subfloor a layer of structural panels glued and screwed to the floor joists. The same crew that builds the floor system continues with construction of the walls and roof. Once the framing is completed, wood sheathing panels add additional structural support. Full-length vertical sheathing techniques securely join the floor system to the walls and to the roof with a single panel. Properly nailed, this sheathing method is especially effective in high wind areas. Local building codes list the requirements of a properly framed raised floor structure. For more information about building a home with a raised wood floor, visit raisedfloorliving.com.